So let me guess, you're on your smartphone looking for the perfect video to show you how to change the front diff fluid in your Can-Am UTV yourself. Well good news brother, I have just the video for you. So just kick back, crack a cold one, and let's talk about it. I'd like to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports and today we're going to be expanding on our maintenance and upgrade how-to video series for your Can-Am UTV. And in this video we'll be showing the step-by-step -step procedure on how to change the front differential oil in your Can-Am UTV. I'm expecting it to be a quick and easy one beer job, so let's get started. So BRP suggests we replace our visco locking front differential as oil at the first of every 4,000 miles or 200 engine hours in normal trail conditions. BRP also mentions to bump that interval up to a part of the 100 hour service under muddy, dusty, or severe conditions. But it really don't hurt to do it even more often than that since it's such a quick, cheap, and easy one beer job. Feel free to pause the video here to see the tools, parts, and beers required to get this job done. And I chose to go with the recommended $20 bottle of XPS from the dealer while we continue to document a complete 100 hour service. But 500 milliliters of any API GL5 75W90 full synthetic gear oil will meet the requirements for this front diff. So I'll be sure to leave a couple links for a few other popular options in the description below. So with all of the maintenance interval, front differential capacity, and oil type information out of the way, Let's get this easy job started by locating that sneaky 6mm Allen fill plug hiding on the front passenger side of the front diff. And it might be hard to see at first because this radiator hose can definitely block your view. Alright y'all, I wanted to see if I could show you how to get to this fill plug on the front diff real quick. Um, we're coming in over here from the passenger side and if you look there on the front of the front diff, um, there's your 6mm fill plug. And instead of using a 6mm Allen wrench, I'd suggest an Allen socket like this. Um, they're a couple bucks at the hardware store. And if you grab a couple extensions, I don't know if we can see here. Get in there. Come on. Oh, shoot. Get in there. There it is. Alright. Um, as you can see here, if we use a couple of extensions, uh, we'll easily be able to get that out. You could probably get away with just a 6 inch, but, uh, you know, a 9 inch probably work even better. As far as the extension goes, 9 inches might be better than 6. With the 6 millimeter Allen fill plug located and extensions in hand, we can go ahead and remove it. Ouch. And I like to remove the fill plug first for two important reasons. First being, it's going to release the air vacuum in our front diff and allow the oil to drain more smoothly and thoroughly. And secondly, and probably more importantly, in the event the fill plug is stripped or we can't get it out of there for some reason, we won't drain the diff of all its precious lubricating juices without a way to refill it. And we'll also want to make sure this copper sealant washer comes out with the fill plug. I'm sure BRP would have us replace this copper o-ring, but this one looks fine so I'll probably just clean it up and reuse it when it comes time to reinstall our fill plug. So with our fill plug out, now it's time to locate and remove our 5mm Allen drain plug to drain this differential's oil. Alright, I got the machine up on ramps to see if I can't show you all that drain plug for the front differential. There should be a hole in the skid plate. Yep, that looks like our hole. And there is our 5mm drain plug. Right there in the front. And once we've laid eyes on that 5mm Allen drain plug, we can toss our drain bucket under there and crawl under the front of the machine to get that drain plug out. And again, this is another situation where I feel way less likely to strip these tiny 5mm Allen drain plugs with the Allen socket instead of the traditional Allen wrench. But that's just me. And we'll want to make sure that rubber o-ring comes out with the drain plug and inspect and replace it if necessary. But the rubber o-ring on this drain plug appears to be in great shape with no cracks, rips, or tears, so I'll probably just reuse it as well. And this front disc fluid is actually looking pretty clean, but if it came out all black and burnt looking, or all milky or murky like water's found its way into the front diff, it probably wouldn't hurt to try adding some fresh fluid with the drain plug still out to try and flush out any contaminants in that differential. And once all the oil's drained out and she stopped dripping, we can reinstall that drain plug. And from my research, this drain plug only takes between 2 to 5 foot pounds of torque, which ain't much force at all, y'all. So I was sure to save myself some misery and avoid over tightening, as over torquing this tiny drain plug can strip the head off the plug, leaving us with no way to remove it. Or worse, ruin the threads in the front diff itself. So to try and avoid all those headaches, I just thread it in by hand and only put one finger on the ratchet for that last eighth turn or so.
All right, y'all, it's time to fill up our front diff with the fresh fluid, but there really ain't no good way to get a funnel in here um, with enough of an angle for it to pour in there smoothly. So let's go look around and see if we can't find some flexible tubing and convert us and make us a little flexible funnel to get the fluid in there nice. And I didn't end up finding some flexible tubing on this old cheap siphon that would fit in the fill hole. So I just cut off about eight inches of that tubing and jammed it on the end of the funnel to make getting fresh fluid in there a lot easier. I also find adding some tube into the bottle itself also works good. So with our flexible funnel made, now we got an easy way to add our 500 milliliters of full synthetic 75W90 gear oil. And these front diffs definitely take the 75W90 and not the 75W140 we used in the rear diff and gearbox on these bikes. But those are also really quick and easy maintenance jobs we can save a little money on by doing ourselves, especially if you're already doing an engine oil change. So I'll be sure to leave a link to the complete Commander Maintenance video series in the description below, where we already have step-by-step -step videos for all of those jobs. And again, of course the XPS is recommended, but we can also get away with any 500 milliliters of full synthetic 75W90 from the auto parts store, or like the two popular options linked in the description below. And after trying several different methods, I found just setting the bottle on a level surface and using the marks already there on the side of the bottle to be the most accurate and precise way of measuring the prescribed 500 milliliters for this front diff. And I also believe Can-Am uses a fill it till it spills setup on this front diff because the oil level appeared to be just below the fill plug after adding the correct 500 milliliters. But comment below how many milliliters your front diff takes before it spills when you do this job. With the correct type and amount of oil added, we can reinstall our 6mm Allen fill plug, making sure not to forget its sealing copper washer. And I believe the torque specs for this fill plug to be in the neighborhood of 17 foot-pounds of torque, so a little more than the drain plug, but still not a whole lot. And I almost forgot to mention it never hurts to spray off the area around the fill and drain plug with some degreaser and hose off the mess to make checking for leaks down the road easier. So I hope you found some of this information on the front differential fluid change for your Can-Am UTV helpful. And if you did find it helpful, do me a quick favor and give the video a thumbs up so I'll know we're on the right track here. And this was only beer number 96 on our way to our Escape Power Sports 1000 Beer Challenge. So go ahead and subscribe if you don't want to miss the rest of the maintenance and upgrade videos coming out in this Commander Series on our way to getting 1000 beers done for the Escape Power Sports 1000 Beer Challenge. And as always, if I missed anything or you have any thoughts or suggestions on how to improve these videos, or really any comments on this uh, right. diff flu change in general, please leave a comment in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to welcome you if you're new to the channel. I'm Danny with Escape Power Sports. I really want to thank y'all for watching. And as always, we'll see y'all on the trail.